Hello everybody, Andrew Gray here again to play some more Heroes of the Storm. We have queued up on a quick match as a random hero and find ourselves playing Toronto Whisperind. Um, and we're on Dragonshire map. Playing with us, we have a Sylvanas, a Gul'dan, a, myself as Toronto, Alarak and Murky against an Oriel, Li Ming, Alarak, Illidan and Thrall. So we have a couple of specialists, hopefully we've got a specialist top and a specialist bottom. Uh, we are on Dragonshire map and I will explain that in a moment as the first talent we are going to get in power at level one uh, which reduces our cools down when our sentinel hits a target um, there we have some nice tips by Alarak uh, they don't seem to have gone mid so I don't know where they are dragon shards what you will get is you will get this shrine at the top and this shrine at the bottom at times uh, activate yes, you have to stand in there to channel that uh, uh, and when you do channel it uh, and when you have both shrines this central dragon shrine will be activated when it is activated let's try and land that uh, not quite managing to take down Thrall there. Uh, well, you can stand and channel with the dragon. Once you've got that, you can then essentially use it. Um, the dragon is a uh, higher attack against buildings. It also has a, fr a uh, breath fire of cone that goes out in front of it, just in case you are wondering. Uh, no, completely missed that. Uh, but let's put a... There we go. So the two shrines activated. What the? What happened there? I am not quite sure what was going on there at all. I just know that we are um, being taken down by this Thrall. We do not want that at all. Uh, one of our guys does need to there we go to get it just prevent wow that was a um, that was a little bit strange i don't didn't think they'd be able to get it that early quite frankly uh... and we'll just get out of this as quickly as possible basically we are going to have to recall because we have no mana Uh, or I thought we would be doing how we are being completely overrun here because they are a pre-made uh, we will put that down we'll let the team know I have no mana we will also put that on the dragon knight to see if we can do some damage to it but we can't the friendly team's too busy down the bottom to help us up here for some reason um, and we need to get out of that as quickly as possible. We are going to go for Pierce, which when we send out our W ability, which is the owl you see flying out, um, it passes through the first target and carries on and hits multiple targets. We are now going to get out of here as quickly as possible. Um, I don't know why we're fighting there. We're going to go and deal with this Lee Ming up at top because that's just a, a mess. Um, our Q ability that you've seen me use is our heal. Basically, we can heal up a friendly and we also get a small heal on top of that as well. Uh... There we go. Uh, our W ability is that skill shot owl that goes out. Um, yes. And our E ability is a short duration stun uh, we sh should be able to just about get out of here without dying retreat is not weakness it is strategy uh, and there we go we're gonna go back up top again because this is where all the we should defend this fort The shrines are gathering power. The dragon light 
Uh, we're not going to be able to save this, I don't think, unless we do some pretty spectacular stuff. And we're going to go with our basic attacks, reducing cooldown as well. Is this the best healing you can well, do? we can just about get that. Uh, send an owl down there. The dragon awaits heroes. Free him and destroy your enemy. I don't know why we were fighting down the bottom for all that time, quite frankly. We had nothing really to gain from it. I think we were just trying to rush one of their buildings. We're going to throw that down. Uh, and we shouldn't be... Yeah, we should try and get a fight up here. Murky's just running into things and dying. Uh, which is an interesting strategy in and of itself. Just missing out there on the kill. Uh, but we'll carry on doing this. That's probably murky again. Uh, and that's absolutely fine. Feel the hatred of ten thousand years. Um, there we go, he did manage to take that Illidan down, but we were taken out in the process, and there goes our Alarak as well. Wow, Murky two deaths already, and Sylvanas four deaths. Um, Goddess, grant me strength. I, I still think up top, but we should go mid now and defend that, because... The um, the enemy's going to get the dragon again. Indeed. Uh, we're going to be careful of that. We're going to throw that out. You are not prepared. And we'll just try and get out of the way of all of this because we are being targeted quite profusely by the, uh, by the enemy team for some reason. Um, this is definitely going to be a bonus video. I can't see anything... Um, useful coming out of this other than if we do manage to take it back at some stage is that oh no that's alarak going down uh let's throw one of those out there and we will we're not going to go for a heal because i don't think it's going to be any use uh we're going to go for starfall and hope that we can use it as a zoning tool Uh, we'll just carry on throwing out heals as well. Looks like we are going to go and get some camps. Sylvanas wanting some help on the bruisers. Uh, I agree we should go up for bruisers. I don't mind doing that at all. They are not getting the opposing camp, which is interesting in and of itself. They are down bottom instead. Uh, we could get the opposing camp, but I think it looks like we are... What are we wanting to do here? Uh, Sylvanas is about to lose it up top by the looks of it. And we are low on mana and we have nowhere to get mana from. Uh, we're going to go mid, I think, in order to get... Oh no, we've missed out on that. Okay, that's absolutely fine. We'll stay down bottom then because this is where we're going to have a shrine in a moment. Um... Let's see. 
Uh, we are going to go far increase move speed, I think. Let's put an R down there, just to annoy people. Uh, and we have no mana, so we are going to have to retreat at some stage. Uh, we are going to get out of here as quickly as we possibly can. Because... Because we can't basically do anything with no health and no damage, can we? Uh, no mana even, sorry. So we will recall they're going to get the third consecutive dragon. Uh, which won't be much of a surprise. There goes our Sylvanas yet again. Uh, what's that? That's a sixth death. Uh, we're going to throw out an owl to see if we can... No, just a tad too late. Uh, so we will throw out a heal on our Gul'dan there. And we will get behind this. Uh... Uh, and again, we'll just throw that out just as a zoning tool, I think. Uh, we have got to be careful because we are really, really low on health now. Uh, and we're going to just retreat. Uh, and throw one of those out. We'll mount up again and then just go in. Uh, we will heal our Sylvanas. Miss that. Uh, we'll go and heal our Sylvanas again. Uh, and we'll chuck one of those out. Don't know what all that was about. Uh, and we will run away from this as quickly as we possibly can. Uh, we'll throw one of those out and see what we hit, if anything. Uh, people are blaming math match matchmaking, is it? I don't know. Uh, I don't think it was matchmaking. I'm not 100% sure. Retreat is not weakness. It is Uh, the reason you recall rather than just walking straight into here is you get a big boost when you recall uh, and land in the nexus, the base area, uh, which is almost always more beneficial than just walking into it and waiting for yourself to be pushed back up again. Uh, let's send an owl down there and hopefully hit a couple of people. Uh, and we'll see if that helps at all. No, it doesn't. Okay, we'll continue trying to take down this. Um, they're going to be up there, maybe. They are going for that camp. Uh, and we're going to go far increase width and damage, I think, because the rest of the team doesn't seem to be doing a lot themselves. Um, in fact, I'm fairly competitive. Okay, we will go up and help here. Yes. Uh, that was completely the wrong direction for that to fly off in. Not sure why Gul'dan is her hard thing, to be quite honest. Um, oh, going to defend. Feel the hatred of ten thousand years. Uh, not a lot I could have done. I just completely bogged down. Um.
Wow, three and a half deaths from Murky. How many? How much does a Murky death represent? 0.25? Something like that. Or even if it's 0.5, then that's what, seven deaths already for Murky? Uh, Sylvanas not doing much better. Uh, the fourth and possibly the final dragon of the game got by the enemy team as well. As you can see with uh, Taronda, I've just been trying to do what damage I can. We don't do big heals either, so it's mainly what what else can we bring to the team. And the answer is we've got a pretty good attack rate. Um, we're generally not too bad. Uh, let's put that down there. Uh, we're going to do that. And we've been taken out. Um, and there we go. That was a good game. Sorry, the reason I was just checking then is my fan on my computer um, started up. I haven't heard it for a little while, but I have had it open recently. So um, it might just be that I've knocked something. Um, out of the whole lot, I... I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know who was the better player out of all that, to be honest. I wasn't really paying attention. I think it was just the comp that... Was it the comp? I'm, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to use this as a bonus video, so I'm not going to go through all my skills and everything. Um, poor because... Negativity. We had every chance. Um, probably. So only three of them were in a party, not all five, and not in a party, not in a party, not in a party. Um, yeah, there we go. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, please like if you like the video, dislike if you dislike it. Uh, we lost yet again, but there we go. That's how things happen. Uh, and hopefully you'll subscribe and I will see you next time. Goodbye.